Hello, 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 it's Anna with you today and it's the video about 23rd day of the Piscine at Fortiche school in Paris. I'm just a little bit sorry that this video what is shot not exactly at the 23rd day, but I made some notes of my thoughts, of the things that happened that day, so I just I have the right to, yeah, to share this experience of this day with you, even though it's not filmed as usual, just the day the exact day of this day <laughs> um, yeah so the just I have two important thoughts for you for the day the first one is that we with my teammate we decided to quit the project BSQ project if you don't know what it is just I think watch the video the previous video where I just briefly explain what it is but in two words as well uh, if you don't want to watch it, BSQ project is the last project that you can subscribe to and you can choose your teams, um, not like the previous projects that we had, like then the team was um, chosen randomly for you, you didn't have uh, the opportunity to choose it and right now you had, and right now you have, and I subscribed with my friend, um, and the thing is that like when we saw the task from the first time it seems like kind of easy um, the task is to, I don't know what was the previous years and what will be in the future years but in our piscine in August 2019 it was the task was to write a program that finds the biggest square in the matrix we watched a bunch of videos like there are plenty of ways to do it like, like there is this is list three algorithms to solve this problem but the algorithm is like the easiest tasks of this big um, project because you have to care about the um, the sufficient amount of memory for your computer you have to care about the things that your program should be uh, should work in the standard output and in and read the files your program like should just like so many things and you also cannot use the you only can use the functions and the things that you've learned from the PC and this was the problem for the guys who pro who was programming before um, yeah right now because it not it's not like the 23rd day so I know the results of other teams who who managed to submit the task and who decided to work on it like our friend Morgan he's top two uh, persons in the list was top two persons in the list I don't know he's reading now but by that time uh, he finished all of his projects and so he had the time to deal with this project the worst thing is that they forgot to delete just they use some uh, functions that are not allowed and they just to check the pro if the program works properly they forgot to delete them and that's why they got like minus 30 or minus something uh, for the project because in the norm there is the norm of um, 42 school and there is like written the functions that you are not allowed to use the just the norms how you should write the codes yeah and and in each file of the subject of the project it's written like you should respect the norm and yeah and so they got minus and the the other thing is that like you should spend um, three days for this project is given for you you decide how many days you will work on it uh, the second thing is that uh, if your program like doesn't work it's zero and the other thing is that you should give six evaluation points for this project three one of the member of your team and three another member of your team and it means that you have to <clears throat> you have to make evaluations for someone it's like three three points is f at least 45 minutes maybe like an hour on average and then you should spend an hour to other people come to you and verify your project and Besides of that, yeah, you spend like two days or maybe three days on this project. You spend also two hours by evaluating someone and being evaluated and you still could get zero. So basically it's very, very, but it depends on which level you are 
and it's impossible like on my level I only started the night the day nine by that time and I didn't have enough level to complete this task my teammate if I was the same level as him maybe we could manage to do something together but I was like very very less strong than him in programming so I couldn't really like contribute a lot and for him like being alone um, it was almost impossible so he decided also to concentrate on the project and it was like mutual decision to just to give up uh, and we were like give it up <laughs> congratulations zero so that's how it is with Bisky project another important thing for today is that but I told you before like the school they organize every every actually every week some kind of events uh, most of the time it's like motivational speech like when the staff give you the advice and you could share your experience your thoughts your problems something like that and this time it was dedicated exactly to the sexism problems and some other problems uh, that students feel the topic was like um, actually we also had an event uh, tea time only with girls uh, I didn't go there, but they discussed just like some problems, some sexist problems that girls encounter in PC, um, and how to maybe manage to um, to work on these problems. Um, and this event was for everyone, for guys as well, and we discussed the same problem with what with them. Uh, and um, the thing is that like sometimes I feel that the problem there there is no problem here it's like the maybe the problem in global world of a little bit of sexism and and it's like it's obviously uh, affecting the like the level of the it's obviously affecting the school the fact that it's that the sexism exists in the real world and it's projected to the school as well and the thing is that there like exist good people and bad people who are bullying who likes just making jokes on people who like yes yeah, sexist racist jokes uh, jokes and it's not the problem of the school to deal with them like just this person's if they are doing this it's worse for them because the other day this person whom he just um, whom he bullied whom he offended this day he wouldn't help him the other day he wouldn't yeah communicate with them and yeah it's just it will return the bad like the worst uh, to this person I believe in that and but it's also at the same time it's good to discuss these problems because it allows the school to I don't know to create some rules or the atmosphere that would just at least not eliminate but but at least reduce this problem and yeah that's good and I would like to know we also just discussed a lot the problem of girls in VAP uh, what do you feel about it why there are a few amount of girls of women who work in the programming sphere in the coding and the facts are that for example there are like a certain amount of women who enter this field and then there are like a huge percentage of women who give up after entering this field there is also like maybe this is the atmosphere it's the stress or something so I would like to yeah to know your thoughts just please comment below and it would be interesting to discuss this topic uh, and the other, the other important thing that they discussed, that we discussed in this meeting, was that um, there are some rumors that there exists a certain quota for girls to be accepted to school. And the thing is that the 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 the, the persons who were like so against this thing were girls, because uh, yeah, I'm very like I'm just with like, oh, like uh, uh, I am. Um, I agree with that position because, for example, if I am accepted to school, I would think um, 
So I was accepted not because I was smart, I worked hard enough to be accepted, I showed the progress, I was sociable, I was good, but because there was quota for me, quota for girls. And this kind of yeah, mindset is in the head of guys as well. Oh, she was accepted because she's a girl. And so that's why we're against this thing. And the director of the school, she she said that it's not the truth, it's just rumors, because she told about like the numbers of the June. The amount of girls who were participating in the pissing, 17 out of 100 um, of the participants, 17%. And the amount of girls who were accepted to school were tw 12 under the amount of persons who were accepted. So the thing is that like the percentage decreased a lot. Uh, that proves that they accept people, just they don't care about the gender, they care about just knowledge, overall progress, and maybe some other things that we don't know. But yeah, that's what was on this event. Uh, yeah, don't forget to share your thoughts on this topic of girls and pop. It's very interesting for me. Yes, thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next day of the piscine, 24th day of the piscine. Um, thank you again. Bye-bye.